Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So, continuing the series sharing the embellishments I make from scraps for the Scrap Embellished Journal. And this time I have done some embellished glassine bags using scraps. Um, so, great idea. I love this idea so much. You can use any type of bag. If you don't have glassine bags, just use a paper bag. You can use any size. Um, white bags would be great too, or you can coffee dye the white bags, but brown bags, craft bags, any pattern bag even is great. And then just grab your scraps, your paper scraps, your fabrics, your trims, your little scrappy pieces, and I've used some buttons, but you could also use things like diamantes or stickers or cabochons, charms even. So this isn't my idea. I got this from a Facebook group, and all I did was pretty much just uh, okay, I'll show you. I'll walk you through step by step. <laughs> I laid a piece down the bottom and then a long piece down the side, then collaged a shorter piece down the side, and then over all the top of that, um, added a bit of trim or ribbon or lace or something. And then to end, I added the three buttons. So, really, really simple. You only need minimal um, supplies and you know, just raid your scrap box. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really love it, um, but now I think, now that I've worked out how to do these, I really want to branch out and kind of put my own spin on it, my own style, so there's not, there's not much blue in here, let me show you them all one by one. I've just put a tag in here to show you what it looks like with a tag, and this is why I like the glassine bag, because you can see through, and I just think that looks so beautiful, it looks like it's a finished piece with the tag in it, <laughs> and of course you can attach it to a journal as a tuck spot, like wherever you want it, or you can just stick it straight to a page. <laughs> um, I think this one's my favourite because it's got authentic vintage French ephemera and of course the blue. And I love this one, this is tissue paper with the botanical and this gorgeous bit of lace. I've used vintage ledger paper, vintage pattern paper, yeah, vintage music paper and vintage French ephemera and this one I used Edith Holden, you can notice that script there. And just different trims and bits and pieces. I love it, love it, love it, love it. But yeah, I definitely want to branch out and try some more blue themed ones. <laughs> and maybe a bit more, I don't know, girly and pretty. Um, we'll blingify them up and I can now experiment with different styles too. So instead of having this rigid kind of structure of this piece there, a piece there, a piece there, a piece there, that just helped me to break into this, you know, get out of my comfort zone doing something new. But now that I've done it two, four, six times, I think I'm ready to perhaps um, experiment with placement. As you can see, all of these are on the left, and for my last one, I did it on the right. Just tried it with something a little bit different. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could do more, like this one as well, I kind of did something different. I did a square piece here and layered it on top of the fabric instead of a long piece with the lace. So yeah, you could patchwork different pieces however you want them. Just an idea for you guys to have fun with. I really love it. It's such a great way to use scraps. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have fun making a whole bunch more of these. Definitely some more blue ones. And yeah, I'll probably do a, a crafting session or a live or a tutorial process video showing how I make these, if that will help as well. As with all these videos, I think what I'll do is show the finished product first once I experiment and try it out. And then I'll go and do a process video so you can get a better look at how I did it. But for those who can just see it and be like, yep, good, and you can run with it and make your own, that's great. For those who actually want to see how I do it step by step by step, that's for you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you're going with the Scrap Embellished Journal Challenge. What embellishments are you guys making? And let me know if you're going to try this. And if you do, be sure to share a photo in the Facebook group page, Willow Band Journals. And if you're on Instagram, tag me on Instagram so I can see. I'd love to see what you're making um, out of your scraps. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.